Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Anne, the home bartender, and today we are making a Gibson, which I saw on The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. So join me and let's make it. For the Gibson, you will need two and a half ounces of Plymouth Dry Gin, one ounce of dry vermouth, I'm using Dolan, and for garnish, three pickled onions. We mix this cocktail in a mixing glass, so let's mix the Gibson. I'm gonna get some ice in the glass, usually about four pieces of about this size of cube is good. And then we're gonna do two and a half ounces of Plymouth Gin. and then one ounce of the Dolan Dry Vermouth. And then we just mix it. This spoon is actually um, the spoon that my parents had in their cocktail set when I was a kid. Um, so I really like to use it, but um, they say that you should mix this 30 times, but you can kind of also tell once you've been doing this for a little bit, when the ice cubes sort of start to break down. Um, you really want this in particular cocktail. You want very cold. So I'm gonna strain it into my coop. And then I'm gonna garnish it with some pearl onions. And there you have the Gibson. The history on the Gibson is not really exact. It's a pre-prohibition cocktail from the early 1900s. And um, I found this recipe on imbibe.com, but what really interests me about this whole recipe is, and, and just about the Gibson in general, is that if you change the gin, you're gonna get a different cocktail. If you change the vermouth, you're gonna get a different cocktail. If you change the cocktail onions, you're gonna get a different cocktail all under the umbrella of the Gibson. It's basically, and it is a martini with the addition of the cocktail onions. So that changes it to a Gibson. Um, by changing the onions and changing the flavor, it is very interesting because you can really play with this cocktail a lot, even though it's just a two ingredient cocktail. So I'm gonna try it for you now. Of course, it's very dry, but actually you can taste both the gin and the vermouth. It's, it's quite distinct. Each one is quite distinct. And as it sits with these cocktail onions in it, it really evolves. Some people even put just a little bit more of the cocktail onion juice in the glass. But um, it's definitely a sipper. Uh, it's not maybe a cocktail that I would order, but I was interested in it because of the Queen's Gambit on Netflix. She orders Gibson's. And so I wanted to see what it tasted like. And I um, had heard about it when I was younger, but I had never tried it. And so that's why I'm making it today. You know what? I think I'm gonna make this cocktail again using different ingredients. I'm gonna use the Bombay dry gin and I'm gonna use a different vermouth, the Iris Blanco vermouth. The ingredients for the second Gibson cocktail I'm going to make are two and a half ounces of Bombay dry gin, one ounce of Iris Blanco vermouth. And then we're gonna have again, three pickled pearl onions, but I'm gonna use a different company for those onions. So I already have my ice in the mixing glass and I'm gonna go with two and a half ounces of gin. A lot of people use bee feeders and I think that's probably the best, but um, I did not have that on hand. And uh, so I used the gin that I had and this is the Iris Blanco vermouth, one ounce. And then I'm gonna mix that. And then let's 
let's get it into the coop here. And then let's get some cocktail onions in here. I'm using Snow White um, Collins cocktail onions, and I'm using the Iris Blanco um, dry vermouth. So that is the second Gibson cocktail. Let's try the second Gibson. Oh, okay. So I'll just say right off the top, I do like this one better. We put these two cocktails together. You can kind of see a difference. This one is much more clear and this one's a little more cloudy. Um, the second Gibson is made with a vermouth from Spain and then the Dolan is from France. Excuse me, the Dolan is from France. So um, they're two different vermouths, very different vermouths. That second vermouth is much sweeter. And even though we use a different gin that is not as floral, the cocktail is just a little more, I don't know, it's just a, a little more balanced. It's a little sweeter, but you can still taste that gin and you can taste the vermouth. And um, with the cocktail onions, I'm not sure how much of a difference it made. I've tried these cocktail onions by themselves and the um, Marazzetti uh, or Mazetta cocktail onions are a little more, I'll say astringent. And then these Collins Snow White, they're almost a little sweeter. So actually that complements this cocktail um, a little bit. So I'm gonna go with choice number two, the Gibson number two. But you should make this cocktail and just play with it a little bit. It's kind of fun. So a couple things before I close out this video, I might even like these two together a little better. The Plymouth, which is a little more floral and this um, Iris Blanco. Uh, and then if I had the beef eaters, this Dolan Dry might even be a little bit better. Uh, so just an interesting experiment. I collect uh, candle wick glassware and that's what this glass here is. And at some point I might do a little giveaway. So please stay tuned to my channel and, um, and I might just be giving away some glasses in the future. And then my parents uh, bought me this little glass for Christmas one year. Please join me over on Instagram for a picture and a recipe. And while you are here on YouTube, please hit that red subscribe button. It's really important. I'm trying to um, get 250 more subscribers. The best way to do that is for you to hit the button. Go do it right now. Uh, so I'm gonna choose this Gibson as my to-go. Also, my little uh, Surfside Zips pick here, my little cocktail pick. If you go over to Surfside Sips onto their website, he makes glass cocktail picks and straws, tiki. Uh, he also does special orders. So use HB and 20 at checkout for 20% off. And cheers, we will see you next week.